demolition, clearing the rubble, laying a new foundation, erecting the frame, all the mechanical work, all the finishing. When a building has been destroyed, a lot of work goes into putting it back together. But what about when our lives have been destroyed? A lot of work still needs to take place in order to put us back together, in order that we can rebuild. This summer, our sermon series is titled Rebuild. We are going to look at the lives of people in the Bible who had to rebuild a city, rebuild their walls, rebuild a temple, rebuild their society, rebuild their relationship with the Lord. We are looking at Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther. These are Bible characters who lived during a time when their world had been destroyed. Their lives were falling apart. Nehemiah actually came to the city of Jerusalem, his hometown, and he came at a great distance in order to help them rebuild. And when he got there, in Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 11 through 16, he took a tour. Things were in bad shape. He needed to find a new normal. The lives of Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther are going to be used by us as a guide to show us God's path forward when we face difficult circumstances, when we need to rebuild. We will look to rebuild the foundation of our lives. We will see what it means to rebuild worship and appreciation, rebuild prayer and confession, to rebuild our determination and our repentance. We need to rebuild commitment and cooperation. In all of this, we'll find that we need to continue to rebuild. We're going to see that we need to rebuild our lives, our courage, and especially our faith. As we come out of this time of quarantine, we don't fully know what to expect. But I think it's fully reasonable that we can expect that God will lead us and guide us. The instruction that he has given to us in his word should be what leads us forward. I encourage you to join us this summer as we look to rebuild. And I encourage you to invite others to join us. Others whose lives have also been impacted in big ways. Others who are your friends and family who need to hear God's guidance for us to rebuild.